Okay, so we want this uh, analyzer thing. So we want a probe that will handle that. Oddly enough, it's a radial mount analyzer, which makes me wonder, what else are we supposed to radially mount to counteract it? Oh, this thing needs reset. Oh, th this thing has resets. Oh no, but uh, it's, it's the same sort of thing as that, so it's fine. We just need one. Oh yeah, it's about an antenna. Or, uh, how's this one? Nope, this is the right size. This sort of seems like a thing. How much Delta V does this have? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good stuff right there. Okay, well, uh, but we have to put solar panels. Solar panels are drastically heavy compared to this probe. I'm tempted to bring it back too, but uh, let's not go too far. Is there anything I'm forgetting? It seems like I, I ought to be forgetting something here because it's so small. Doesn't really matter since it adds mass to the parent. Well, uh, I, I do like things to be proper. Should we just... maybe... maybe it's time for a space plane? Do we have a good cargo bay? Yeah, we've got cargo bays. Wish we had an adapter like that for liquid fuel oxidizer. But all we have is the structural part. This guy. And we really don't need it. Should I burden it with... Uh, we, we don't need a reaction wheel. We've got enough torque here. We should action group the analyzer though. Probe has all its needs, yeah. I guess we'll have it on a very tiny launcher. Send up several at once to all planets with an atmosphere. Actually, Mitko, I was planning to send this one to all planets with an atmosphere. I think that can be done, right? Because we start off at Kerbin. We take about a thousand meters per second to transfer to EVE. But then, uh, do we get a different reading high and low? Yeah, atmosphere. But we can do the high atmosphere with, all, with this one, but we wouldn't be able to do the low one. Yeah, I want to hit EVE, DUNA, Jewel, Lathe. Or Lathe, Jewel. Depending on how you look at it. Drop it off at the lab, then go to Duna. Then it'd have to rendezvous with the lab. That might be tricky. Um, if we were going to rendezvous with the lab, we'd have to... I think we should do it with this stage and add RCS. So we're talking about something like this. And wow, did that take... Well, maybe we can use one of the smaller tanks. Oh, don't worry, we're going to be tucking it in a fairing. Though, what we do once we get to the other celestial bodies, I don't know. Can it still operate inside the fairing? I suppose it can, right? It's not gonna say it can't take an atmosphere reading inside the fairing? Yeah, it can. Oh well, PL Spirit says no, it can't work. And Screech says, yes, it can operate. No, uh, the reason I need the RCS is, well, I guess I could turn down the throttle on the LV-909. I could thrust limit it. It's just really hard to maneuver it, and I want to do it with this stage. Try it on the launch pad? Okay. Okay, well, let's save it first just in case something happens. 
at Moana analyzer uh, one maybe there'll be more yeah I know that's why I'm bothering with the fairing Levon uh, if the fairings weren't less massive I'd still hate them I've had a tendency to not use fairings until now Okay, so, um, here we are, physics is loaded. One. Ah, uh, cannot run experiment while stowed. Doesn't work. Okay, well, so, Kerbin's atmosphere, maybe we should do with a plane? Let's try with a plane first. Close the fairing to the decoupler and leave the ammo thingy on top. I think we'll send it out, uh, to... Yeah, I think we won't send it to we won't send the carbon data to the station. It's too much trouble. We can dump the RCS. Let's uh, let's try doing the the carbon stuff with a plane. Bring it back for maximum punch, and then uh, we'll do the probe. I want to build a plane anyway because I haven't, uh, except for the shuttle, I haven't flown anything in the new atmosphere. So let's try and build a plane. Uh, I want to see also whether it's still... St well, I guess it's still stowed if we put a cargo bay, so we won't use a cargo bay. I should build a nice small plane. What jets do we have? We still have the crappy jets. We got the nukes, but we got the crappy jets. Okay, cancel that until we get better jets. Uh, let's see the tech tree. Maybe I can get better jets right, right now. Just punch through the atmosphere with no fairing? Well, you know I've uh, done that before, yeah. Darn it, we don't have enough. Just short. 1.6 science we need. You missed the jets of 0.24. I missed a lot of things about 0.24. You know, 0.24 was the only time we actually had a 64-bit that was considered stable. Right? And all the mods were 64-bit uh, pseudo-compatible, at least. So yeah, anyway, uh, let's load up the atmospheric analyzer again. So I think we're going to have to figure out how to do this without the fairing. Which means not like this. No, we're not that desperate. We're not gonna run around the KSC to get science yet. There will come a time if I'm really, really des. Oh, uh, for the for the jets, maybe. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, you give me an idea. We can just do it on the pad. Yeah, atmospheric uh, scan on the pad. Okay. Yes. Let's uh, just launch clamp this for safety. As if the launch clamps aren't partially buggy as well. Let's do this. Okay, here we are. Ammo scan! I guess we just keep data and recover vessel. And getting the jets will be good because uh, that puts us on our path to get the rapiers, which is what we really want. I'll take a look at what other parts I might need in the SPH. But let's take a look. Look, excuse me. Let's take a look at our contracts. Uh oh, rescue a Kerbal from orbit of Kerbin. We have said that we must do this, right? Okay, and rescue a Kerbal from the orbit of Val. Ah, forty years. Oh, we we're we're maxed out on contracts. Okay, alright, alright. I'm gonna upgrade the thing. That, that's a painful cost there, but alright. Okay, yes. Yes. I'm not gonna explore Moho just yet, but we might as well pick up the contract. Because that's gonna happen eventually anyway. VIP sucks. Okay.
So, we've got a lot of Val contracts. Planet Flag, we gotta return uh, to Kerbin from a flyby, we've gotta get scientific data, we've gotta rescue that Kerbal. I mean, I guess when we rescue the Kerbal, we could have the Kerbal plant the flag. Right? Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, but uh, we've got this Kerbal to rescue. Maybe we should do with a... Well, we can't do it with a space plane, because we don't have the engine for that. Well... Hmm... It's been a long time since I built a space plane without the rapier. Mikko wants a turbojet Nerva space plane. Well, you're gonna have to help me with that. Um... Okay, so that, that would mean that we, we're gonna have one of these adapters on the tail for the Nerva. Let's go, let's go small tanks. And one uh, with liquid fuel in the middle. Oh no, the tail has liquid fuel, right? No, the tail has liquid fuel oxidizer. Oh, we, we just want liquid fuel. What am I thinking? We don't want any of that. We want liquid fuel. Shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, Sidzi. And probably Mikko would have said the same thing. Yeah. Well, that sucks because the tail has oxidizer. But maybe, maybe this could do with a kick every now and again. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, let's not get into that. So this is gonna have oxidizer, and it's uh, much more efficient to carry the oxidizer and use it than to have it empty. How about a cargo bay with a probe core to avoid kerbals on board and also a docking port for emergency refueling? Docking port I like. I don't want to make it too multi-purpose. And let's face it, this is a thing that's going to have a kerbal anyway. We're, we're starting to build it like the old Derek shuttle from Point .25 is what's going to happen eventually. Okay, well, I guess, yeah. I really don't need a VTOL on this, Cincy. Not to Val. Oh, uh, let's make this clear. We're not doing Val just yet. Uh, we're, we're just worried about the Kerbal Orbit one first, okay? We're not uh, aiming... Well, we could... Uh, it won't make any difference for Val. But note our thrust weight ratio here is already low. Fuzzy dice, how much do they weigh? I don't like this thrust to weight ratio. Yeah, I know the nuke's only helpful at altitude. Probably higher than that even. And uh, so that's why it's worrying me that we're not going to have the thrust weight ratio I'd like. And now I'm not going to be able to read the thrust weight. Okay, I guess I can drag it like this, but it's not really a good read. Point three three. It's not good enough. Thrust weight ratio. Any ideas? Wings, I know. I know. There will be wings. Thrust weight ratio. I have to... This is my problem right now. I guess we can st start unlocking the wing parts. Uh, we can unlock that one. Don't worry, I can figure out how to f prevent it from uh, hitting the runway. That is the least of our worries. Look, if we put two nukes, we're gonna have less mass. I right, more mass, more mass. Less thrust to weight. I'm getting tired. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we don't want two nukes. Do not want two nukes. We want negative amounts of nukes, if possible. But, um... Okay, uh, well, we've got the cargo base, so I guess we might as well put the hex in. Uh, 
and probably some power and maybe we should have a radiator sticking out at some point but uh, uh, actually having a solar panel in there proved to be an okay idea at certain points I think I'll uh, No, I'll, I'll leave the soul panels for later. Let's do the wings now. Two nukes bad, indeed. I don't like quite how it looks. No, I want to fill the space. It's about filling the space. It's not about giving things. Uh, it's it's a trivial amount of mass anyway. And what do you mean waste of time? Okay. Oh, to fill with them, you mean? Actually, very curious about working nu nuke space planes since 1.0. Yeah, magic might be a strong word for what I'm doing here. Okay, uh, let's address the whole scraping the tail thing. We're gonna have to use some decent landing legs. That'll do the trick. They're a bit heavy though. And I think I can tuck those in a bit. Oh, we don't have action groups here. Hold on. Uh, new plane. Plane. Let me see about action groups. Hold on. Well, we're definitely going to be testing this. Oh, wow. That takes a lot of funds that I don't have. Oh, well. Very tall gear, yeah, very bad tail. Well, I mean, you know, we could try it with the smaller gear. We could try it with the smaller gear. Because we've got a lot of thrust uh, on the jets. We've got a lot of thrust on the jets, which means that we will be able to take off. Let's get the control surfaces on. And at least we're going to be testing it without crew first. Why don't you like to go on properly? Okay, um... Strikes me that these are a little bit too far forward. Don't know if that's a safe thing to do. Tucking the nerve in, well, could overheat. Um, I'm not too worried about the long gear unless it's, well, it is way heavier than this one. Okay, I, I, I buy it. Let's not do that. Oh, I forgot to put control surfaces on those. I guess we can pass on that. Okay, how does fuel flow? That's as good as it can get. Okay, solar panels. Right. I think I know what to do with those. I think that'll be a good place for those. Now we know that the always open open solar panels just burn off. So I'm not too thrilled about them. And they could conduct heat, so I'm gonna pass on them. 
Now, we do need some radiator panels, don't we? Do we need the whole thermal control system? Or just a radiator panel? I've heard that the radiator panels only radiate from the part that they're attached to. So I think we need a thermal control system. Uh, I do, I've got these little twitch thrusters helping us out with the TWR and actually I should I got them on the wrong action group. Even with them it's only 0.45 though. And of course if I dump the oxidizer and dump them it's much worse. Okay, um, I want to test fly this just to see how it handles. And uh, you can tell me about the... Put a radiator panel directly on the nerve. We've just tucked it in. I don't think I have enough space. Um, well, let's unlock... Oh, okay, let's... Uh, well, it's not too big. Oh, air brakes. That seems right. Okay. All right, no action groups. Good times. Uh, we will need to have some sort of action group to stage these jets. I am going to put them on the light action group. That is what I'm going to do. Okay. Let's let's see how it flies. No kerbals. Uh, we are trying to build a nerve space plane. I'm not. I'm not sold on this idea. But. But we've got a kerbal to rescue in Kerbin orbit, and then another Kerbin a kerbal to rescue in Val orbit. So maybe it'll help. Strut the wings, that's something if I think we need that. Let's see if it works first. Uh, let's see if it works like this. Hold on, I want to check that uh, shutdown engines. Looks good to me. Nice effects now. That's some serious, serious effects. Don't need full power here, I don't think. Here we go. Gear up. Keep getting these, this stripey landscape thing. Don't know what's up with that. Let's see, let's up the ambient light a bit. Yep. I mean, uh, the, they're actually, I don't think they're supposed to be round like that. They're supposed to be diamonds, right? But anyway, I'll take it. We'll, we'll t try to take it to orbit, I guess. If that's possible. We won't do the whole buzz dial and runway thing. Let's get it up there. I didn't check what the optimal velocity for these engines is. You know, where it starts going all crazy with velocity. Guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, I, I, I will try to go as fast as I can on the jets. Definitely. I know how to do this, but uh, the question is exactly where I should level off. Uh, there's a certain point where you have to level off to really gain speed. And that's the part I don't I'm not sure about right now. Oh yeah, I should have slapped the Kerbal Engineer thing on. Well we can do that later. Okay, well uh, still going good. How's the thrust picking up nicely? Twelve K is good, do you think? Okay, we'll start leveling off at that point, but we'll probably round it out at fifteen. Well, we are past Mach 1, definitely. Okay, it's starting to uh, 
starting to peek out here. You're about right, 12 kilometers. See, now we can level off and actually just the lift will actually uh, pull us up. Now we also have to worry about overheating. Oh, we're going down. A little bit higher, please. I think our acceleration is such that I should gain altitude here. Doesn't look good otherwise. I haven't flown with these jets in 1.0. Okay, well, I don't see any overheating bars yet. Actually, that's something I didn't see in the realism overhaul part of this little broadcast. We didn't see the overheating bars when things exploded. What's up with that? Got to 1400 meters per second on sea level, then exploded. Yeah, I know I'm losing thrust. I'm gaining, gaining altitude, which is a good trade off. But, uh, yep, I'm gonna light the rest of our engines. Well, it's symmetric, so it's nominal. It's probably gonna go asymmetric uh, at the worst possible time. I don't think we have enough juice to get into orbit like this. Okay, that's the flame out. Now it has to be lift. Do we have lift? Oh. Could be worse, but could be better. Close air intakes. Not too sure how much drag that was causing this high up. Yeah, we're not really a draggy vehicle. Oh yeah, the little ones? No, I, I don't think there's any point in uh, closing these guys. Uh, it says occluded anyway, it wasn't even isn't even uh, able to do anything. Probably should just dump them. But I guess we'll close them for the sake of closing them. Oh shoot! Forgot to fix those. They're probably causing us some drag there too. Should have made sure that these guys were doing their proper job, didn't do that correctly. Well, we're, we're at Apoapsis in three seconds. But we don't have too long to burn before orbit either. We're gonna lose thrust soon, our little orange Rock Max 2477 thrusters, our Twitch thrusters are gonna be, be going bad. The nuke is heating something inside? Maybe, but I don't think it extends that far, does it? 
I don't know how heating works. Again, I need to learn more thermodynamics. Oh, okay. We're good. We are good. Oh, not that good. Not that good. Keep the nose up. Keep the nose up. Oh, Kerbal Engineer has that. Uh, display critical part of uh, critical part critical temp and hottest part. That's something I've been wanting, yeah. So, uh, nuclear space plane might be good, but man, it takes a long time to get to orbit. Man, it takes a long time. And we don't have RCS. Now, I'm not going to rescue the Kerbal yet, because I need to see wh whether this can come down safely. I don't know. Should I rescue the Kerbal or not? Optimize the plane before attempting rescue. I think we're all nice and... I think we're all nice and equatorial. 0.6 off, but our ascending node is in the wrong place. We can't optimize from here. We'd have to go back to KSC to optimize. Or on the other side, of course. Oh, optimize the plane. Oh, I thought you meant the, the plane with respect to... Oh, I, I see what you mean. I thought you meant the optimize the plane like this. You know, plane change plane. Yeah, I don't want to risk the Kerbal's life, just in case this can't re be recovered properly. So I guess we will test it out, and we'll just bring it back down and see how that works out. Okay, well, our Amphalapsis is going to drop a bit, but let's see. Wow, we're still we're still lit up. Wow, I didn't even notice. We got all these little bars going. Let's radiate some. Oh, is it safe to extend it here? Let's find out. Here we go. I think I still prefer this view while we're at it. Okay. We've got a periapsis that's honestly pretty much about right for re-entry, so I'm not going to touch it. We're just going to go around. I am not going to get into orbit. Now, we don't have any jet engine fuel right now, because the fuel is running the opposite way. Ha. Huh. Should have fed the fuel back and forth. Hold on the music. Guys, um, do you know if these, I know the rapiers pull from all of the tanks, but do these? I think they do, right? I think these also pull from all the tanks. Anyway, that's my theory. I wonder what is heating up inside the bay. I hope it's if it's the controller, then that's a problem. Let's see what it was. Yeah, it's the probe core. The probe core was heating up. That's not good. We'll have to leave the radiator out for now. Yeah, open the air intakes. Good, good reminder. Well now this one says status nominal instead of occluded. Well we'll see in the atmosphere. I'll retract the radiator I guess. And let's shut down this engine. Unlikely to need that. Oh and these two as well.
All right, all set. Oh, I uh, can transfer fuel to more than one tank at a time. I forget that. Uh, so... Okay, okay. Oh, okay, that's not working right. Oh, wait, now it's working the wrong way. <laughs> okay, uh, so it's actually... This is a great time to figure this out. Um, click this tank. Click this tank, then click this tank. Okay, there we go. Just subtly imbalanced. Very curable of it, but okay, anyway. I might overheat. Well, yeah, I noticed. But uh, we definitely want to aim for lift rather than drag right now. Okay, we can sacrifice the radiator. Sounds like a plan. Land on a mountain? Why? <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah, we're pointing straight at the mountains, but... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, with parachutes? Ah, oh, well that's not... That's not landing a plane, that's landing a pod that looks like a plane at that point. No, the best ones are those people who try and land a plane on the VAB, that's great. Yeah, I want to see it on a runway too. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, looks like we're good. Looks like uh, we are good. Yep. We could probably air brake a little bit. We can go around if necessary. Yeah, the in the cinematic save, the shuttle landing with uh, three units of liquid fuel left, I think it was. That was tense. Welcome! We have created a nuclear plus jet space plane. It uh, barely got into space, took forever. But we're checking out whether they can land. It's drone controlled right now. The drone core is actually probably cooling down right now. We lost the radiator at some point, it looks like. Don't know when that happened. Yeah, radiator's gone. I think I'm gonna have to go around. Okay, going around. Wow, this thing is losing a lot of... Do the jet engines produce power? Yeah, they do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run the jets then. Was gonna try to land it without those jets, but uh, looks like we're gonna do it with the jets. Okay, sorry for the lack of commentary. Trying to land the plane here. The aerodynamics does feel a lot more like actually flying a plane. Much more so than other versions of the aerodynamics. Oh boy. Do I have enough runway? Okay, looks good. Um, one problem, our air brakes clip into our vertical stabilizers. That doesn't look right at all. Definitely gonna have to fix that. Okay, recovering. Hmm. Okay, we've got a lot of fixes, but the first thing I want to do is the probe core, moving it up like Mitko said. I guess, you know, um, would a radiator panel work in here? Okay, well, we'll go with that for now. Oh, inverted, right, sorry. Okay, so... 
dump some of the mop propellant. Well, let's just dump the mop propellant, I guess. Though maybe I should put ports there. This will warm probe up, in your opinion, which specifically moving it to the forward part or putting the radiator panels on? Putting radiators on, from your observation, you think part under radiators works like a heat sink a bit? Alright, I guess I'll take that. Looks a little bit like an insect, but I'll take it. Okay, what other issues did we have? Aerodynamically, it's great. Let's just make sure dumping the mop propellant didn't change anything. It doesn't. I should probably, just for safety's sake, run the fuel lines back and forth. Could do with some extra pitch control and probably lift by just slapping on some elevons here. Call it Firefly. Ah, oh, that's not bad. I'll go with that. I'm so bad at naming things, I have to take the names I can get. Okay, Firefly it is. Lightest manned SSTO? Well, we wouldn't go with this for that. Uh, the GB would probably be the lightest one I could make. Right? Firefly, better for the plane that's going to rescue late tourists? I don't know. We can call that Serenity if you like. <laughs> Just as a reference. Oh yeah, check the turbojet fuel flow. Oh, it dra drains evenly. Okay. So it doesn't. It doesn't uh, need that. The LVN does, I bet. Yeah, LVN does. Okay. But I don't think I can do the rescue mission, uh, even the Kerbin orbit one today. I'm a little bit tired out here. Any other changes we want to make to the Firefly? So, let me get down our order of operations. So, next time, we've got a few things to do. We've got to do more Mimus science. We've got to rescue Kerbal in orbit of Kerbin. And then we want to do that atmospheric analyzer. I should, oh, I should finish that one. I can do that. Yeah, this can go far if it's refueled in orbit. We can uh, do that Val rescue if we need to with this. Um, but let's save this, and I want to do that atmospheric analyzer launch. Let me put that together. Where are you? RCS might be useful on the plane. Where did it go? Oh, it's so tiny. Okay. So, we, we can put this in a fairing, because we're not going to be doing the current part here. Okay, well, I'll show it to you in a sec. Uh, I can pop in and uh, show the GB and the sandbox thing. Okay, uh, this is six tons. It's about in the class of the thing that we would launch with our... the one I was working on before. Which I didn't act. Uh, I didn't uh, subassembly. Let me get it as a subassembly. So the Condor Nine. Do we remember what was wrong with this? It had too much thrust to weight ratio. That was one thing that was definitely wrong with it. Okay. Well, uh, we can fix that pretty easily. Let's slip it in the middle. Okay, any other suggestions for the Condor 9, this recoverable stage? I am fielding those suggestions now. Oh, air brakes turned off for ascent, right. No, we just, we don't need it going for pitch and yaw at all. Atmospheric ISP, mainsail, no, the point was having 9 engines. It was, it was a point. And the mainsail has less cumulative thrust than this. We can't replace it with the mainsail. Though, I should reconsider which ones I switch off. I should just have the one swivel in the center, and I should switch off the other four LBT-45s next time I launch. 
I already have a main seal SSTO recoverable that you can see up there, so don't need another one. That one looks like this, by the way. Except that I didn't have the big service bay before or 2.5 meter parts, and we had to use these fleas. Okay, um, well, anyway, that'll be for next episode. Episode stream. I'm <laughs> still thinking episodes. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's just uh, attach it to our atmospheric probe. So we'll have a lot of stuff to do right away. Uh, I thought it was the other way around. No, the... Oh, oh, the vacuum ISP. Right, right, right. Sorry, my mistake. Vacuum ISP. You're right. Okay, that's non-volatile mixed staging there. Alright, I'll save that. Let me just pop on over and show off the GB. I wonder if the GB can still fly with this aerodynamic. Should do. It worked in 1.0 and 1.0.2, and if it can work in both of those, I don't see why I'd have a problem here. <laughs>